So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use NPCs on your Minecraft server network. More specifically, if you're running a bungee cord network, how can you use NPCs to, for example, send layers from one server to another? And if you're not using bungee cord, but for example, multiverse core, how can you use NPCs to let people teleport from one world to another? Well, that's what I'm going to show you in today's video. Anyways, before we start this video, it would really mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video and also check if you're subscribed to the channel and the lyrics shows me that most people who do watch my videos are actually not subscribed even though it just takes a single click two clicks if you also want to enable notifications and with those two clicks you would help me out for a lifetime we're trying to hit the 10k subscribers here on the Casa Sora channel and by hitting that subscribe button you would help me and the channel out and we would get even closer to that amazing milestone of 10k subscribers and then without any further ado let's uh, dive right into this so here we are on the Sorcraft network. If you don't know what the Sorcraft network is, it is my own personal Minecraft server. Currently we're offering a creative game mode, Sorcraft SMP Season 3 is almost starting so stay tuned for that. And we're actually working on a third game mode here on the servers, so if you want to join it is mc.sorcraft.eu. We would love to see you here on the server. Now back to the video. The Sorcraft network is actually a bungee cord network, meaning that we're currently in the lobby and from the lobby we can go to the SMP, to the creative server and to the question marks. Server. Now here on the server you can do that through a server selector or through a portal but there's actually also a way to create an NPC that will take you to the world you want. And that's what we're gonna do today. Now if you haven't watched my original citizens video yet on how to add NPCs to your Minecraft server I would highly recommend first watching that video. A link will be in the top right corner of the screen right now. In that video I explain all the basics about citizens, how to use it, how to create NPCs, how to remove them, how to do some fun stuff with them it is just the base of citizens which is the plugin we're gonna be using today now if you've already watched that video or you're already familiar with citizens we can start actually creating an NPC that will take you to another server so I'm just gonna create my NPC uh, somewhere over here why not we're gonna create an NPC by doing slash NPC create and then we're gonna give it a name in my case I'm gonna call it creative there we go. Now here we got our NPC creative. Of course, we can change the name, we can change the skin in whatever we want, but we want this NPC to take us to the creative server. It's literally a single command. So what you do is first type, okay, two commands. First, we have to select this NPC. NPC select, it's probably already selected, but if you've not just created this NPC, then you probably don't have it selected. Make sure to first select it. After you've selected your NPC, it's one more command. We're we're gonna type slash npc command and then we're gonna add a command after this it's very important to write minus p i don't know if it's actually a minus just just a strike this means that the player will actually execute this command so by clicking on this npc the player will execute a command and in our case the command is gonna be server because we want to switch servers and then the name of your server in my case my creative server is just called creative this is it if we now write click on this NPC we will actually teleport to the creative server that's it it's as easy as that now besides just letting players switch from one server to the other you can add pretty much any command you want to an NPC just through the exact same command so NPC command add this can be whatever you want so I'm just gonna do the exact same command NPC command add minus p and after that we're gonna do give then we're gonna do uh this symbol p and then that symbol which will be replaced for your player name so we're just we're basically gonna do a give command so give p which will be give player and then uh diamonds just diamonds one there we go command added we right click and now we will go to another server and get a diamond so we got a diamond you saw that <laughs> <laughs> we got a diamond and of course we're still teleported to the creative server so you can actually add multiple commands to one minecraft npc so let's say we want to remove a command from this npc we no longer want this npc to take us to the creative server but we still want a diamond from this npc well you can do slash npc command just like that by doing that you will see all the commands that this npc currently 
currently does. So these are all the commands that this NPC actually runs when you click on it. Now if you want, you can remove one of them. So we're just gonna do NPC command and then remove. And then we're gonna choose for one of these numbers. So zero will be the first command, one will be the second command. So pretty straightforward, I'm gonna remove zero. So just remove zero, bam command zero removed. If we now do NPC command again, you can see it only has the second command. Give Kasasura diamond one. Beautiful. So let's just click on it. And there we go. We got the diamonds. And how more we click, how more diamonds we get. Now let's say you're not running a bungee cord server, but you're running a multiverse core server. Meaning that you have multiverse core installed on your Minecraft server and you run multiple Minecraft worlds besides each other. Then you probably also have a lobby. You maybe have a creative world, a survival world, a minigame world and you also want an npc that takes you from the lobby world to for example the minigame world how do you do that well what we're gonna do is also just add a command to our friend nether here so this guy needs to take us to the nether world so we're just gonna do npc select just to make sure he is selected then we're gonna do slash npc commands then we're gonna type add minus p like before and then we're gonna type in the command well i'm assuming you're running a multiverse core server so we're just gonna use a multiverse command. So what we're gonna do is MV, TP, and then world underscore nether. Just like that. If your world is called something else, if your world is called creative, if your world is called minigame, then put that name here. In my case, I just want to go to the nether, MV, TP, world nether, enter. And now if we right click this guy, we will actually teleport to the nether. It is as easy as that. We're now in the nether. So you can pretty much let NPCs execute any command you want. If it is a command that takes you to another world, if it is a command that gives you a diamond, or if it is a command that actually sends you to another server. It all basically works the same. And that's all I wanted to show you today. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, not subscribed yet, and you did enjoy the content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out by doing that you actually would like i said before we're trying to hit the 10k subscribers here on the casa Sora channel so just that single click would help me and the channel out for a lifetime and get us even closer to hitting that amazing milestone of 10k subscribers and then with all that being said i hope you have a great day thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye